hello and welcome back to this channel once again still under ratio and proportion we are going to look at the subtopic scale of a map now the scale of a map expresses the ratio of the distance on the map to the actual or corresponding distance on the ground and it is usually written in the form 1 is to n so basically we say that the scale of a map expresses the ratio of the distance on the map that is the map distance to the actual or corresponding distance on ground and this is usually written in the form 1 is to n at this point we need to insert a unit and since the map is usually small, the unit of measure is usually in centimeters. So what this primarily means is that one centimeter on the map represents n centimeters on the ground. So whenever you see something like this, basically it means that one centimeter on the map represents n centimeters on the ground. However, you can be asked to find the actual distance in meters, in kilometers, and so on and so forth. Notice that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. And then 1 kilometer is also equal to 100,000 centimeters. Now, without wasting much time, let's take an example. So let's take this example, example one. The scale of a map is one is to 40,000. A, find in kilometers the real distance or the actual distance represented by a distance of eight centimeters on the map. B, what distance on the map represents a real distance of five kilometers? Now let's solve this question together. Previously, we said that the scale of a map expresses the ratio of the map distance to the actual distance. Thus, the scale of a map expresses the ratio of the map distance to the actual distance. Now, from the question, we have been told that the scale of a map is 1 is to 40,000. So, we have 1 is to 40,000 and this primarily means that one centimeter on the map represents 40,000 centimeters on the ground. Now we are asked to find in kilometers, that is for E, the real distance or actual distance represented by the distance of 8 centimeters on the map. So basically if one centimeter on the map is equal to 40,000 centimeters on the ground, then what does 8 centimeters on the map represent on the ground? So that is what we are going to find for A. So we say that 1 centimeter on the map represents 40,000 centimeters on the ground. Then 8 centimeters on the map represents X centimeters on the ground so we are going to find the value of x so using simple ratio and proportion we have 1 over 40,000 is equal to 8 over x at this point we can cross multiply so we have x times 1 which is x and that is equal to 8 times 40,000 8 times 4 is 32, so we have 32 plus 4 zeros, and that is 320,000 centimeters. Now, this value is in centimeters. However, we are asked to find the real distance in kilometers. So, to convert this value to kilometers, we know that 1 kilometer is equal to 
hundred thousand centimeters therefore what is equal to three hundred and twenty thousand centimeters so at this point we can cross multiply to find the value of y so this becomes y equals 320,000 centimeters times 1 kilometer or divided by 100,000 centimeters. So we have centimeter cancelling out centimeter. We have four zeros cancelling out four zeros and we are left with 32 divided by 10 and that is equal to 3.2. So we have y equals 3.2 kilometers. So this is the actual distance represented by a distance of 8 centimeters on the map. So the real distance represented by 8 centimeters on the map is equal to 3.2 kilometers on the ground. Now let's solve for B. For B, we are asked to find the distance on the map that represents a real distance of 5 kilometers. So usually on the map, we know that the scale of measure is in centimeters. And we also know that one kilometer is equal to 100,000 centimeters. Therefore, if you want to find the value of five kilometers in centimeters, then we basically multiply this value by five so that we have 500,000 centimeters. Now from the question, we are being told that the scale of this map is 1 centimeter is to 40,000 centimeters. That is 1 centimeter on the map is to 40,000 centimeters on the ground. Now if we want to find the distance on the map that represents 5 kilometers on the ground, then we say that if 1 centimeter is to 40,000 centimeters, then what is to 500,000 centimeters. So we are going to apply simple ratio and proportion to find the value of W. So we have one over 40,000 and that is equal to W over 500,000. So when we cross multiply, we have 40,000 times w equals 500,000 times 1 which is the same as 500,000 therefore since we want to find the value of w we are going to divide through by 40,000 so that we have w equals we have four zeros cancelling out four zeros and then we are left with 50 divided by 4 and that is 12.5 Therefore, we have W equals 12.5 centimeters. Therefore, the distance on the map that represents a real distance of 5 kilometers is 12.5 centimeters. So the map distance is 12.5 centimeters. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.